Good morning, afternoon, or evening, Cross Church family. Uh, this is Zach Kordick, your youth pastor, and it's my privilege to do your online devotional this week. Um, full full um, disclosure, there is a cat behind me right now, so we'll see if she uh, interrupts us at any point <laughs> during this devotional. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm guessing that all of you are very busy. I'm very busy, you know. Um, I've got a lot going on. I've got a full-time job. I've got a pregnant wife. I've got uh, family and friends. I've got hobbies. I've got things that take up my time, you know, and a lot of my time is taken up by my job, which is good. You know, I love what I, I do. I'm privileged to get to do it. Not many people get to say um, that they eat pizza and uh, play basketball and board games and uh, take kids out to lunch for a living, but that's something that I get to do. Um, but I remember, you know, when I first started this job, I had people say to me in jest, um, uh, oh, are you tired yet? You know, you ready to quit yet? You worn out yet? Even Daniel a couple of times was like, don't burn out on me, man. You know, don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't give up, you know. Um, and so that's what I wanted to talk about today is, is burnout because I'm busy. You all are busy. And if you're like me, then you have been through a point in your life where you've said, I, I'm worn out. I'm doing too much. I've got too much going on and something has got to make the cut. For me, um, this happens when I was in college, right? So my senior year, um, I was working on my capstone research. I had a full-time job, a part-time job. I was a full-time student and I uh, was also serving in church. Um, and so I went through a period where I was like, something has got to make a change. Something has got to be different because I cannot do, I physically am incapable of doing all of the stuff I need to do in a single 24 hour period. Now at this time, the church I was going to, I wasn't really plugged in. Um, I didn't have a lot of friends. My family wasn't really going there. Um, I was sort of a face in a crowd. It was a bigger church, especially compared to ours. And I felt lost. I felt unneeded. I felt unimportant. I felt like the things that I were doing weren't really making a difference. Um, I felt like nobody noticed me. And that, coupled with all the other things that I had going on in my life at the time, um, led me to pull back from my volunteering. It led me to pull back from the things that I was doing in the church. Um, and I think that this happened for a couple of reasons that I've already mentioned, but also some reasons I have not mentioned, right? I think the primary reason I was burned out is because I wasn't prioritizing things the way I should have. But also, I was not being, my cup was not being filled, if that makes sense. I did not have any kind of, yeah, I mean, I had good relationships with my family, with my then fiance. You know, I had a lot of good things in my life, um, but my perspective was skewed, and I did not have relationships that were able to fill me up at the rate that I was giving out, if that makes sense. Now, I'm not here to give you a crash course on what you should do if you're experiencing burnout, right? I know that there's a lot of different approaches to this that people who are way more educated than me have talked about. But I know for me today, what's different today, right? I I'm way busier now in my life than I was back when I was a senior in college, right? I've got way more things going on, but I also feel like I have more energy. I'm excited to do the things that I'm doing. I look forward to each day with uh, vigor and zest. I'm excited about things in the future. I'm excited about what each day brings. So what's different? Well, of course, materially in my life, a lot of things are different. You know, I'm married now. I have a kid that's on the way. But also, there are some things that are very, very different. First of all, I love what I'm doing, right? I am embracing the calling that God has put on my life. I am embracing the things that he has called me to do and asked me to do. And I truly believe that he gives me the energy and the power that I need each day to do what I need to do to serve him. If I'm going against his will or I'm not doing what he needs me to be doing, then 
I think asking for energy and power to do the things that God has not asked us to do is not going to go very well. Do you know what I mean? I am empowered by the Holy Spirit to do good works in Christ. And if the works I'm doing aren't in Christ, then am I going to get the same energy? Am I going to get the same power? Secondly, I am being mentored by Daniel. Um, Daniel takes time to talk with me. He's patient. He listens to me. He corrects me in a gentle way when I need to be corrected. You know, he doesn't let me get away with things that I, you know, don't need to get away with. He points things out to me that I might need to change. Um, and he's a humble leader. And that relationship brings a lot of fulfillment to my life, right? I'm fulfilled through that. I'm being mentored and guided through what I'm supposed to be doing. Like Daniel said in his sermon today, you know, we're not a one man army. We're in this together. And the fact that I'm being mentored, I think also gives me a lot of energy. I have a fulfilling and godly relationship with my wife, who's just out of frame, right? My home life is peaceful and Christ centered. And that goes a long way in enabling me to do what I need to do. Right? I have fulfilling relationships with my family, my mother, and my siblings, and my sister-in-law. Right, All of those relationships are healthy and where they should be at, and those give me energy. Those give me life. Right, And I'm more of an extrovert. I understand if you're an introvert, maybe you're like, well, I don't want to speak to 50 people or whatever. And I understand that. I'm not saying that you need to go out and completely change who you are. Right, I'm just describing the things that work for me, the things that give me energy right? So if you're struggling with weariness or tiredness or feeling burnt out, I think there are a couple of questions that you need to ask yourself that I know I ask myself all the time. Is what I'm doing what God has called me to do? If what I'm doing is what God has called me to do, then I truly believe that he is going to give me the power and the energy to do those things. That doesn't mean I'm never going to be tired. That doesn't mean I'm not going to have challenging days or situations that arise that stress me out. But what it means is that God is going to see me through those things, right? And if I'm not doing, if you're not doing what God has asked you to do or called you to do, then I think I, just like you, need to do some pretty serious soul searching about what it is that I need to be doing. I'm very lucky in that I'm able to say I am doing what I'm meant to be doing. I'm in a season in my life where my path is clear, things make sense, I know what I'm supposed to be doing each day, and maybe you're not there. I would encourage you to pray about it. I would encourage you to go to God and ask for direction on what you need to change in your life, right? If you're struggling with, well, I don't know if I need to be doing this anymore, or I don't know if I need to be spending my time in this place or with this thing, right? If you ask God for clarity and wisdom in a situation, he will give it to you. The verse I'd like to leave you with is Galatians 6, 9, which reads, and let us not grow weary of doing good for in due season, we will reap if we do not give up. If we're doing good, we should not grow weary of it. And if we don't give up, we will in due time reap the rewards of doing good. So if you're burnt out in a situation, if you are struggling with weariness, I think you need to ask God, is what I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing? Do you need me to be doing something else? Is this not where I'm supposed to be? And then take it from there. Hey, I love you guys. It's an honor and a privilege to be able to do these devotionals. I hope everyone has a great week.